thought leadership sounds like a bit of a buzzword. And for some people, it is a bit of a buzzword. But what it is, is it is um, the practice of recognizing that you have a unique perspective and figuring out a way for that unique perspective to help and serve other people in what it is that they're doing. So my unique perspective is I understand technology. I also understand building teams and leading teams and listening to people and specifically also growing and developing people. I've always taken a lot of pleasure from seeing people on my teams doing extraordinary things together. Um, and then I also have this um, ha had this amazing opportunity to work with world's leading thinkers who had written books and published and spoke on the particular topic that has a huge impact on innovation. And so what I've been doing is I've been synthesizing that thinking, that perspective, that work, and seeing how to show it to other people so that they can see things differently and they can be more effective themselves. So thought leadership is really the practice of thought leadership is you write, you speak, you present, you train, you facilitate, you mentor, you engage with people so that they can begin to see what it is that you see. And then you continue to extend and expand that in a way that you're able to reach broader audiences. So if I'm successful um, in my ideal world, we will understand the difference between product innovation, which is where we focus on the thing and the technology, and human innovation, which is where we focus on the brilliant people who create the technology. And we bring the two of them together in a way that we are producing technologies that are actually much more beneficial for human beings, that, are, um, that we don't have technology driving us that are much more complementary to the fact that we live on a finite planet, that is much that are much more um, about engaging human beings to do great things than they are about producing widgets.